they've been hibernating. They're thrilled to be here. Uh, uh, <laughs> we I feel like none of them did anything this they week. Didn't That's how excited they seem to be. Are we done already? Is it over? I can't stand. Is it done? Make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's officially over. Enough. As of two hours ago, it's over. I mean, I cannot. I am so. I want to. In, Please. <laughs> Duck Dynasty can go on. <laughs> I said. Any to back down? I'm, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Then back down. Yeah. With you know, Phil with, Robertson can stay. With the, you know. Beverly <laughs> and, and I are divided on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's That's a big right. fan. I think it's a fun show. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't enjoy the show, yeah, but yeah, Beverly's yeah. a big fan because yeah, she thinks yeah. what? Speak your mind. Yeah. Speak your mind. <laughs> Whatever we want. He can say what he wants, and I can say I don't like what he I do wants. Think that that's you a, understand? I do think that's a, a gross misinterpretation. The only thing yeah. I resent is yeah. that about 11 days of my time have been wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. These people live in a swamp. Yeah. 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 Everybody's yeah. shocked. Yeah. He lives in a swamp. Yeah. Yeah. He lives in a marsh. That's why ducks live is in a marsh. A marsh. Amazon, they have absolutely everything. I have a 
shopped in a store in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> the book is for everyone. Black, white, gay, straight, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Okay. It could be a, not, not muzzle, sure. but everything else. <laughs> Everyone has relationships. Not everyone. You're covering up your women. <laughs> they do. Uh, what? The Muslims? It's true. I speak the truth. I'm like Howard Stern. I say what people think. I thought you were like Phil Robinson. I, I say what I think. I say what I think. I say what I think. <laughs> In any event, it doesn't matter. We are from Massachusetts. Yeah. That means we are socially liberal. Fiscally conservative. Excuse me, we're fiscally conservative. <laughs> we believe in same-sex marriage. Yep, yep, we yep, believe in yep. same-sex divorce. That's right. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> we believe you spent eight years with someone you deserve to get out of it with, like, a couch. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you welcome, by the way, we were first. Yeah, we were uh, first. We did first. Utah, Utah, has, Utah, Utah has jumped Utah, on the bandwagon. Utah, Utah, yeah. Utah. <laughs> it can happen there, it can yeah. happen anywhere. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah. they're all Mormon. You know Mormons? Boy, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, I mean, that's a lot of Excuse women me? for man and the Mormons, the Mormons. No, we had enough, we had enough love. trouble with the Mormons. Love. We've been getting letters from the Mormons that don't think we're very sensitive to their religion. And we're very sensitive I to said, all religions. All I was just I explaining said. to them. I'm not saying it now. The ju Judaism, <laughs> the Torah, that's the first part of the movie. I, on Halloween. The New Testament, that's the sequel. I dressed up. And we decided the Mormonism's like the squeak. Can I tell you <laughs> I dressed up as Elizabeth Smart, but I had a <laughs> First of all, she's fine. No, she's fine. She's fine. She's, she's, fine. she's married. She's so She's married fine. to a I have man. never seen a more well-adjusted, formally kidnapped, sexually assaulted child. <laughs> <laughs> and she's terrific. And I had her book, My Story. I, it was a page turner. Okay, it took me six months. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> I had it hanging out of my purse. And in my family, we have a Halloween tradition that the youngest people in the family choose the costumes for the oldest people. And my niece, Shira, has triplets. Yeah. The boys are Excuse okay. Me. No. The girls. No one's okay. It's, not okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question of who's the worst. They're boys. <laughs> 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 so at the moment, it's the girl. She's very delayed. They're small. <laughs> They're small. Maybe it's a cleft palate. Yeah. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> they walk around saying, oh, she looks just like Angelina Jolie. She's going to look like Angelina. Excuse Someday. me. Someday. Excuse <laughs> me. Someday. There's a hole in the top of her mouth. There's a reason she's poor and still eating from a straw. <laughs> <laughs> she saw the book. She saw the book I'm hanging out of my purse and said, I want it. I want you to be that princess. She said that. She said, I want she you said, to I be want that. You to be that. No, she said, I'm not going to do that. And I said, well, I know what that means. And so I got dressed up as a list. Anyway, some people found it distasteful. I said, you need to read the book. And then make that decision. <laughs> read a book. Read books. Don't just read e books. In read any book event. <laughs> I normally would say. All you do is look at a lecture. Okay. <laughs> I normally would say that we're thrilled to be here this evening. I'm missing your life. And we are thrilled to be here to an extent. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, I was supposed to be in the Philippines. Yeah. Okay. I was not going to be here tonight. No. Beverly was no. going to do the show do on her own. I was going to have my daughter yeah. Rochelle come up from yeah. Arizona. She, yeah. Except she couldn't. She's working. She's doing lift. Lift. <laughs> you have no lift with a pink mustache. <laughs> <laughs> giving strangers rides. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I want, what would want for my 19-year-old daughter. A revolving car of strangers. Don't be afraid of the world. <laughs> they don't even have to ship like a bulletproof glass between the front well, and the... Don't live in fear. Don't live in fear. You can't live in fear. Look, I'm just happy she's gainfully employed, or whatever you want to call that. The pink monster, you know the pink monster? It's not Uber. It's not Uber. Whatever the case is. Beverly and I have had a trying Christmas thus far. Very difficult. This has not, this been, is not been a happy holiday. It's not been fun at all. Okay? Not been fun at all. I was supposed to be in the Philippines with Jordan. Yeah. He's yeah. working on a documentary son, about the situation there. We were gonna spend <laughs> we were gonna spend a couple of days on that gorgeous beach, that beautiful white beach that they have, and then we were gonna go to the beach that they have no longer. 
<laughs> Taco Bell. Ta well, I wasn't going to go in truth. He was going to go, and I was going to let him go, and he'd come back, and then we were going to do New Year's in Hong Kong. Very but it was not to be. <laughs> it was not to be. No, it was not to be. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I had, I'll tell you, a whole a revolution in my mind. Okay. You've heard of the war on Christmas? I'm the army general. <laughs> F you, Christmas. I got done. I got done. You were very oh. excited about Christmas the last time over here. You I know what? I was. I, because I just you said, said, I'm a Christmas. I said, I'm a Christmas. Yes, I, did. I was. Yes, I was. I got sucked in. I got seduced. My Jewish soul got kidnapped and transformed into an elf. <laughs> and I was feeling the Christmas spirit, this, that, and the other thing, jingle bells, and blah, blah, blah. And then I went to go buy one of my favorite lines is INC Inc. at Macy's. They make such a beautiful sweater. <laughs> and I went in the day before Christmas and I said, how much is this going to be on the 26th? They said, it'll be 20% off. I said, I'd like my 20% off right now. They said, it's the day before Christmas. We're not doing that. And I said, well, that is anti-Semitic, number one. <laughs> You know because as well what? as I do, you know as well as I do that I would be here on the 25th if you were open, but you're not open because you're not open for me. You're not open for Jews. <laughs> oh. It's not my fault you're not open for Jews. War on Christmas begins right here. <laughs> <laughs> so I started a letter writing. Did you bear this whip? Yeah, I'm going to return it next. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the point. It's all about the point. You understand? It's about the point. It's not about the goods. It's about the point. So I wrote some letters to the Jewish Journal, the Boston Globe. I wrote one to the Swamp Scott Reporter, the Marblehead Reporter, the Salem Evening News. The war on Christmas starts with me. There are six million people who are very upset that I have been an elf. <laughs> yeah, and what did you do on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve, I felt sorry for my sometimes lover, Raina Tolley, who is not Jewish, and so I was very you nice. You say. <laughs> he invited me for Christmas Eve. I said I will be wearing blue and white. I said I will come. I will speak in only Hebrew. My <laughs> if you could speak Hebrew. If I could speak, I can yeah. read it for now. Yeah. <laughs> Ask can anyone that can read. <laughs> I guess it do your thing, but I am not going to enjoy it, and I'm going to feel connected to my people, mostly my dead people, but I will feel connected to my Judaism. So why did you go if you were going to be such a sourpuss? Because I wasn't going to be a sourpuss. I put on a nice face, and I went. <laughs> anyway, and I went, and I brought a couple of presents, and that was it, sis boom ba, and then I went home early, I took an ambient, I went to bed, and that was my Christmas. But you know what? I feel good about uh, My soul is clean. My soul is clean. You I know who I am. I bought a Would you get Ray? If you don't I, mind my asking. I got Ray. Uh, don't tell me underwear Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> no, Rana. No, Rana. For blooming deals. No, Rana. Yeah. If you have to, I got new underpants, but not with any sort of. Uh, they had patterns. <laughs> <laughs> they make novelty underpants. Okay. They do a yeah. pancake right on there with a hat of butter <laughs> right on there. <laughs> <laughs> More like a fried egg. Or like there's two eggs and a piece of bacon. <laughs> I can't I can't think of anything I'd like to see more on a man that drops the tray. It's like a sunny side up egg. <laughs> bacon represents the penis. <laughs> Dominique, a rap 
I she did, either did or didn't I got didn't her a enjoy. scarf from the basket yeah. at Sale Basket at Irresistibles, okay. which is an adorable okay. boutique. <laughs> <laughs> so a small boutique in Marble is next to the hardware store. It's so adorable. adorable. And you never know. I would it's, never sit for it. It's a scarf. <laughs> it hasn't been good since 1987 then. It's a very cute scarf with yeah. puffy paint on it. Yeah. <laughs> in any event, yeah. as I said, I was supposed to be in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to leave on Boxing Day, the 26th, yeah. okay, and I was yeah. going to meet Jordan, I was going to fly to JFK, we were going to get on the plane to the <laughs> <laughs> Cafe Pacific, which is fantastic. They give you your own room. It's not like a regular business class where you have to sleep with a stranger next to you. Come on, they give you your own cab. I'm doing, I just got my nail. <laughs> In any event, <laughs> I had planned to do what I normally do on Christmas, which is I was going to have a lovely dim son with my friend Annette, Annette Faxon, and then I was going to see the Coen Brothers movie at the Kendall Squid. Okay? I, I saw Saving Whatever Mr. Banks. Whatever it's called, it doesn't matter. Three to times, Mr. Banks. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Of a bag of excrement on my front door. <laughs> this isn't funny. <laughs> All of my picture windows in the front of my house had been egged. Isn't that Padme. Humagra. Padme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And all over my Mercedes, my beautiful white Mercedes. Horrible. Horrible. Someone had used the very same excrement from the door. Yeah. To scroll a message on, yeah. which I am too much of a lady to remember. Mary Cuntmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's off. <awful. laughs> Cut to me talking to the only uh, police officer working in the Marblehead Police Department that day. Some Vietnamese guy who's probably a traffic cop. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't go well. Excuse me. And the whole <laughs>
depending on the Loyola. I don't think so. I think so too. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say that. No, I, I loved you in that movie. Oh, I loved you. You know Silver Linings. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was something. Said, I mean, come on. It's been a year. Yeah. Can we say it now? <laughs> <laughs> good night, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you were fantastic. The film, good night, Greg. What's she like? What about Hunger Games? There's a whole new crop. What about Hunger Games? She was nice or not nice? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. She's Excuse me. Was she really? Are you being nice? Talk about upstairs. Where are you from? You're English. <laughs> where are you from? A little further. Where are you from? Tell everyone where you're from. It's exotic. Australia. It's <laughs> <laughs> such a ridiculous place. <laughs> Tell us it's sort of, you know, we forget about the law. Yeah. And then they come out and they're like, oh, they're from England. They're like, no, Australia. We're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't it until we realize that all of the actors that we admire, that we think are American, are actually Australian. Yeah. Because you can't get a man, an American man, to play a man these days. No, you can't. They have to go to either Australia or to England to get a guy to play a man. Because you know why? Excuse me. Excuse me. Our drama, drama people are very, you know, like, like. Excuse me. You know. Excuse me. I know what I mean. I know what I mean. <laughs> we just don't. They don't make them like that. What do you do? Are you an actor? No. What do you? What I? What? What? what I'm, I'm a what, Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>
I mean, Encyclopedia Brown could solve that case. <laughs> be a picture of one next to the other. You know, <laughs> end of discussion. <laughs> so you shot this movie in the south of France, is that right? You're very tall. How fabulous is that? So how long were you in the south of France? You know the ones on the other side? Hello? So why are you sitting together with him? Why won't anyone let him <laughs>
the Geek Squad. <laughs> I tell you, do they have women teachers having sex with student boys? All the time. Right, and they're fine, right? Yeah. Here, that's a crime. <laughs> it's only a crime when it's a male with a little girl. Yeah, yeah but America, what? America came from Puritans and Australia came from convicts. Brava. 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 That's what I say. You say, what well, do you have black people in Australia? Yeah. How? What do they? Are? Like us? <laughs> ours are not African. They are indigenous. Yeah. Yeah, Aboriginal. That's, are they, and that's, that's, oh, that's how it is. <laughs> do they sing well? <laughs> Our black people sing well. <laughs> She has burst. to draw, <laughs> she draws so her eyebrows loaded. on completely, yeah. just completely, yeah. just completely. <laughs> like, like she's rough. But anyway, so <laughs> I gave her, I didn't bother wrapping it because they put in a beautiful Irresistibles holiday bag with a couple of ribbons and it was very detailed, whatever. I said, why would I take it out of here and wrap it? Sure. Right? Yeah. So you're for recycling. That's your cause. Yeah, Good for you. Jackie, we rise for the earth. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Me too. Thank you yeah. for settling that. You put it in an irresistible bag? Yeah, it was a plastic bag, but in the receipt mail, I took it out of it. It doesn't matter. I put it and I said, Happy Christmas. Yeah. And I said it to her. I did say it, even yeah. though I, you know how I feel. I think you're right. Thank you. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Me? Yeah. Yeah, great. You felt like you needed to get that up. Because you know what? It was an argument that I thought was unnecessary. There are bigger issues. Right? Like the fish and Who the Who was the argument cash? with? <laughs> did, she, did she complain? Who? Dominique. Dominique was... Did I miss half the story? Dominique. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Yeah. 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 What's his name? Joel Edgerton. Joel Edgerton. Is that how you say it? Ben Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn, who's terrifying. Guy okay. Pierce. Guy Pierce is fabulous. It's ben Mendelsohn, always. Australian. Australian confidential. Mendelsohn? Yes. Excuse Australian? me, Jewish. Australian Jew. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he plays, he plays, <laughs> he plays in the film. Yeah. <laughs> and you are the, you are like the witch Everywhere. at the top of this coven, and you are so fabulous and so terrifying. <laughs> People have to see this film. Thank you so Yeah. For 
Hanukkah. I respect other people's holidays, unlike the world. <laughs> <laughs> because as a matter of fact, the bag that excrement, of excrement that arrived on my door arrived in an irresistible bag. <laughs> it's a very specific store. Because there's one location, and it's on Atlantic Avenue in Malibu. Yeah. So I'm wondering if there's a correlation in that event. Do you understand? I don't like your tone. <laughs> you don't like my tone? No, it's very accusatory. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask what I did to deserve that, Beverly? I don't know. Where do you I feel that you're being interrogated I right do now? feel like I'm being yeah. interrogated. Don't yeah. interrogate me. I just drove the car. I didn't throw the bag. <laughs> <laughs>
cleaning up after the after the incident happened so that I wouldn't wake up to the smell of excrement on my front door. Were Had I, that occurred to you? I was or were you a little tired at that at point? At that definitely? point it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a fresh perspective? Yes, on the Germans. Excuse me. <laughs> you know how I've been angry all these years about how the Germans who didn't hide the Jews, who wouldn't hide the Jews. Now I see what a tough decision that really is. <laughs> when you're under threat, are you hiding Jews? No, I'm not. It's much easier to just say no, I'm not, and then not do it. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> You have a fresh perspective on the people that chose not to hide people who were going to lose their life well, because some sort of a, a, a drunken, in, bloated teenager <laughs> <laughs> asked you who else was waging a war on Christmas, is that what it is? You're equating those situations, is that right? I can't tell you what it's like. You're equating going to the gas chamber with having to drive some monster to my house yeah. <laughs> to throw a bag of shit on my door? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're equating? It's the same thing. Okay, I have a fresh I have a fresh perspective as well, Good. Everyone I have a fresh Everyone perspective. Open your and I am of the fresh perspective yes. that I will be very happy at the San Ysidro Ranch, Ranch by myself. By okay? That's my fresh perspective. Let's bring out our next guest. <laughs> our next guest. Now wait a minute. I was so delighted that we got this guy because I'll tell you something. No, we can't talk about it. Not, what do you want to talk about? No. <laughs> Remember 30 seconds ago when I said, I'm sorry, 17 seconds ago when I said you couldn't come? Yeah. Because you had allowed someone to defile my home? I, I did. And then you were a little too tired to clean it up? I was Does that sound familiar? She, <laughs> she held a barrette to your neck? <laughs> talking about it after. Okay. It's talked about. Afterwards. I had a conversation with myself. I feel very good about it. <laughs> you can change your flow. <laughs> In any event, our next guest is so fantastic. Now, this guy is a really terrific, he's a terrific act. He's okay. And people that, watch, <laughs> people that watch that show that he's on know, but I was a huge luck Watch. I was very sick one day, and I had accidentally did a whole season pass on it, and I had nothing to watch left in the queue, and I watched them all, and this guy was absolutely a highlight on that show. With Dustin Hoffman? <laughs> Dustin Hoffman. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick J. Adams. <laughs> Sort of felt like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong about this. Yeah. This is just 
me on the outside. What do I know? I'm yeah. sitting in my house in Marblehead. I'm a big David Milch fan. Yeah. <laughs> As you are. I like uh, Until Karen. you read a couple of interviews with him and then you wonder what it might like. Be I like, like Carrie to Bradshaw. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, he seems like a little bit of a pain in the ass. Milch stuff. Yeah. And I wonder maybe if they made a little bit of a bigger deal about the horse thing because they didn't want to deal with him anymore. I think he's, he's, he's not really a pain in the ass. He's just strange. He's just a strange man. He writes lying down, apparently, on the ground. Good he speaks him. out to Wonderful. the world. So he's just an odd guy. Me too, I never I saw do. him be a pain in the ass. I do. I do. I do. When I write, I write uh, lying down. <laughs> you write one. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, notes. <laughs> <laughs> when, he, when he writes, doesn't he recite what he's doing? To, he doesn't do any of the typing, isn't that right? Uh, he doesn't do any of it. You know, he literally yeah. lies on his back and he speaks it to the world. Like clear and, and the world just puts it together. Yeah. His, his minions put it on paper somehow. Yeah. He doesn't have a cell phone either. Here, thank you. I got Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Toronto on a bike, it's your own damn fault. You know what? That's 100% right. We live in a society with cars and hospitals. You don't need to do a birth in your backyard in your goddamn tub, and you don't need to ride a bicycle like you're a Kermit the Frog. Get in your car and drive to the hospital and have your baby with drugs and surgery. <laughs> So you're, you're a Rob Ford fan? You're a fan uh, of Rob I'm, Ford? I'm personally a fan of Rob Ford because I think he kind of uh, shows the world, because Canadians deal with policies very differently, we have a very different Canadians political have a different system. system than Americans. Very different. <laughs> and I really appreciate that Rob Ford, how ridiculous he is, makes, uh, it shows how Canada doesn't really put a lot of power into Canada's mayors. Canada's smaller. So I think you've got to strip them of power. So I think he's a how hilarious figure. I think it's embarrassing, but how old are you? I think, uh, I think what? it's pretty good. Perspective is <laughs> 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 So this all comes full circle. The 
fresh perspective is you can you can sympathize with his grandparents. That's right. Because it's very hard to open the book. Yes, it is. Yeah. If you're under right. threat of a wonderful exactly. whatever. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. I understand. I feel for you. Okay. Yes, yes I do. You, and look at you. You've gone to great success despite your past. <laughs> Thank you for being here.